All right, this is the uh, Biqua BT1 uh, UV under sink water purification system. Um, I decided to put it under the sink here, but on the door. Um, I'm, there's so much going on under here that I kind of wanted it out of the way. But basically, how it works is you got your main line going into the. I got two filter canisters back there if you could see them. Water's getting pre filtered through there first, then into this UV water purification system. And then it goes into my ionizer, which I'm going to show you here. Which is, this is my ionizer here. My life ionizer. Uh, makes the water more alkaline. And that has also two filters in it. So, if you can see, let me see if I can shine the light. Water comes from the tap there. It goes up that tube into those two canisters right there and then into my uh, UV water purification system and then from the water purification system into the uh, life ionizer here and then to the top here uh, where we drink our water. The reason why we uh, got this UV water purification system for under the sink and the whole house is uh, because uh, that was a little over a month ago. Uh, I started to break out in hives around my waist area, my stomach. Uh, very itchy hives. Uh, so we decided, my wife and I decided to uh, get it, the water tested. So we went out and bought one of those H2O OK kits um, and test the water. And sure enough, it had coliform bacteria. Um, so yeah, it's kind of disgusting when you think about it, but. Uh, that's one of the things you have to watch out for uh, when you have well water. And you know, these things are great when you even city water because there'll be times where a, a main line breaks somewhere and then they'll tell you on the news, oh, you know, this area's got to boil their water, don't drink it, blah, blah, blah. Well, if you have one of these units, you don't have to worry about that. Uh, as long as your water gets filtered and you got a UV purification system that kills uh, or messes up the, uh, uh, the bacteria and whatever else is living, all the microorganisms living in the water, it'll pretty much kill them. From what I understand, that the ultraviolet light messes up their DNA so they can't reproduce. It, it basically kills most of them, but it really messes them up so they can't uh, reproduce. It's kind of neat. But yeah, that's the reason why we got it, because we had coliform bacteria in our well, and um, we installed this. And we check the water. I'll show you the results next. And it come out uh, negative. It was nice. All right, this is the test results from the uh, water from our well. The one on the left is directly from the well. Um, and you can see that's positive. The gel is floating on the top. And it's got air bubbles. Um, or actually, they're gas bubbles from the bacteria in that gel floating on the top and that's the left vial or bottle now the one on the right is negative um, it, the, there's no gel floating on the top the color still stayed red um, and there's no bubbles or gel floating on the top so that the one on the right is the water we got out of the UV water purifier after everything gets filtered and, and killed through the UV light uh, so now our water coming out of the sink and of the water purif of the ionizer actually is uh, safe to drink, and I don't have to worry about that anymore. You know, a lot of people would say, "Why don't you just uh, shock your well with bleach?" Uh, yeah, we were thinking about doing that, but that's uh, that's a lot of work when you really think about it. Dumping that bleach down there, having it run through your pipes in your house, and letting it sit in there for a day. And then you got to, uh, you know, flush your whole pipes out of your house and you got to make sure that stuff doesn't get into your septic tank. Uh, so, I mean, there's a lot of work involved in a whole day, at least a day and a half of work there. Um, this is just an easier way of doing it. Even if my well is contaminated, I don't have to worry about it because it goes through uh, 
the main house UV purifier and that's just good enough for cooking and then washing dishes and showering and all that wonderful stuff um, and then it's going to go through another UV one uh, under my sink for drinking so it, it's kind of a double whammy and it kills everything and this is the test results so I'm pretty happy with it all right this is the whole house UV water purification system that I installed uh, that's the uh, UV purifier right there on the canister. And the way I have this set up, it looks kind of weird with all the plumbing going everywhere. But how I have it set up, it's in, I'm, I'm limited in space here. That's why I had to do this. But it works really good. I got the uh, water from the well coming into this pipe here. goes up into my filter. Out of my filter into my uh, water softener. And then back out of my water softener down into my uh, UV water purificator. I have a triple uh, valve bypass here. Right now I have the bypass uh, closed. So now the water is coming in through the water purifier and back up, up and into the house. Now when I have to do work on this, once a year I have to change the light bulb. Uh, what I would do is I would turn the top and bottom one off and turn this one on and the water rather than going into the purifier it will go it'll bypass it and go up into the house that'll let me work on this without having to shut the whole water of the house off but anyways once a year uh, you have to change the bulbs in these things so they last a year it's pretty good um, and the bulbs are long like a fluorescent tube um, and they fit into a quartz tube, okay? And this quartz tube, after a year, it's going to get scale on it, calcium buildup and all that stuff. All the minerals that are in your water are going to stick to it. And it's not going to let the light shine through it as well. So it's not going to be as effective or efficient after about a year. So what you would do is you take this little cap off here, and you, take, you unplug the, the system, and then this here, you just unscrew it, I know the lighting in here is bad, but um, it's, it's pretty simple. You just unscrew this here, and of course, let the pressure out of this system before you do that. But anyways, the bulb comes up, and you'll see this glass tube that the bulb fits in. And it's got two O-rings, so you just slip the whole thing out, and you clean the tube with like CLR or vinegar, anything acidic, and it'll break those mineral, mineral scale off that uh, quartz tubing. Once that tube is really nice and clean, you insert it back in there, you get your new bulb, and of course you can't touch your bulb uh, with your bare hands because the oil in the hands will leave prints on the glass and that will create hot spots from what I understand on the glass. So wear like rubber gloves or something. And then put that, then put everything back together. It's, it's very simple and I just don't have the time to really show you or explain it um, um, in this video. Um, and then this unit here, let me put this cap back on, yeah. this is a unit that controls it. It basically it tells you the unit on the wall is working and the light bulb is on. And this is a countdown from 365 days down to zero. So when this, when this starts getting close to zero, you know it's time to change the bulb. And at day zero, of course, you change the bulb. And then here you put, hold this down, I think it's for like five seconds and uh, it'll reset this back to 365 after you change the bulb. <clears throat> it's kind of nice, it comes with a little, uh, just in case something happens, you know, what it means, if the lights are blinking and all that blah 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 stuff. Um, it's a nice little uh, unit, looks nice there. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I'm going to put it in the description below uh, where I got these, um, how much they cost and all that stuff in the description below. Hope you enjoyed this short, quick video. Uh, please like and subscribe and ask me any questions below um, in the comments. And um, thanks for watching.